Hi kids! This is teacher Erica and welcome to online math review. So this video is all about a review for our first semester test. Parts of the test, as you can see in your worksheet, we have part one, which is for listening, that is for 15 points. Part 2 is a multiple choice. That is for 15 points. Part 3 is a matching type test, which is for 15 points as well. And the last part is the part 4, which is all about problem solving. And that's also for 15 points. So in this video, we will just tackle about the part 1 and the part 2 test. So for part 1, okay, as you can see in your worksheet, the first page, that is the part 1. Listening skill. So you will practice reading the vocabulary first with me, okay, in this video. Then, get your test paper and you have to listen to every word I say. And circle the correct word in every number. So, let's read. Please repeat after me. 10. Again, 10. 14. 14 equal equal after after backward backward plus plus minus minus once, once, height, height, tall, tall, four, four, high, high, less, less, Nine, nine, count, count. All right, so these are our vocabulary. And now for part one test, are you ready? Okay, you are ready. All right, so now let's uh, get, please get your paper. And listen for number one ten ten please circle the correct word or in circle the correct word number two fourteen fourteen Number three, equal, equal. Number four, after, after. Number five, backward, backward. Number six, Plus, plus, number seven, minus, minus, number eight, once, once, number nine, height, height, number ten, 
Ton. Ton. Number 11. Four. Four. Number 12. High. High. Number 13. Less. Less. Number 14. Nine. Nine. And for the last number, count. Count. Alright, done for part one test. Now let's proceed to part two. So these are the part two pages in your worksheet. So this is also for uh, 15 points and this time you have choices. So that's why it is called a multiple choice because there is an A, B, and C for your choices. So in this part of the test, I will give examples similar to the questions given in the test paper. So first example, what number is it? It is number six. Very good. Letter A. So the same what you did in the first part of the test. You encircle you your you encircle the correct letter or the correct word. And this time you just encircle the correct letter. Okay, not a word. So again, encircle the correct letter. So this is just an example. Okay, so for your test paper, this is the number one. Now please answer question number one in your test paper. What number is it? What number is it? Is it A? B or C. Okay, now another example. What number comes after 6? So we have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, can you please tell what number comes after 6? This is 6. What numbers af or what number after 6? It's 7. So, the answer is letter C. 7. Now, for your... In your test paper... Okay, now please answer question number 2 in your test paper. What number comes after 8? Is it A, B, or C? Please encircle the correct letter. Next, which is greater? 6 or 4. Now I'll give you an illustration. How many animals are there? There are 6 animals. How about in this another picture? There are 4 animals. Now which is greater? More animals. Is it 6 or 4? More, greater, is like more, more pewa, makwa. Is it A, 4, B, 6, or C, 4 and 6? The answer is letter B, 6. The greater or the bigger number is 6. Now, in your worksheet, Please answer question number three. 
or in your test paper. Which is greater, 7 or 5? What is the answer? Please encircle the correct letter. A, 5, B, 7, C, 5, and 7. Next. Okay, this is an example. Illustration, I mean. 7 fish, or 7 fish, and then 5 turtles. Which is greater or bigger number? Next, what is the smallest number? So we have here the cookies, the burgers, and the drink. Okay, now let's count. How many cookies are there? There are four. How about here? How many burgers? There are six burgers and one drink. Now, which is the smallest number? Okay, the smallest number is one. Letter C, one. So again, this is just an example. Now, for your test here, please answer question number four in your test paper. What is the smallest number? Is it five, nine, or two? Please encircle the correct letter. Is it A, 5, B, 9, C, 2? Next. Okay, so this is the illustration. 1 to 10. Okay, I'll give you a few more seconds. Okay, what is the correct number in 13 equals 1 tenths long ones? So, I have here an example. 1 as a tenths place value. 3 as ones place value. Okay, so what is the answer here? Fill in the blank. Is it A6? B, 8, C, 3. Okay, the answer is 3 letter C. So, 13 equals 1 tenths and 3 ones. Now, please answer question number 5 in your test paper. What is the correct number in 12 equals 1 tenths blank ones? Is it A, 5, B, 7, C, 2? So I have here an example. Next, can you count how many candies the Suda has? There are, can you count here? There are 10 candies. How about, can you count how many candies the Smiley has? There are five candies. Now for question number six. Who has more candies? Who has more candies? A. Suda B. Mali C. Both I 
Again, encircle the correct letter. Next, let's go to number seven. Who has less candies? Who has less candies? A. Suda B. Mali C. Both Let's Proceed to number 8. How many candies does Suda and Mali have all together? How many candies does Suda and Mali have all together? A. 10 candies B. 8 candies C. 15 candies I'll give you a few more seconds to answer the number 8. Okay. So again, you have to add, for number 8, you have to add 10 plus Five equals love. Next, for questions 9 and 10, refer to the pictures below. So we have here the ruler and the pencil. Now you have to compare their length, right? Which is longer? The ruler or the pencil? Which is longer? The ruler or the pencil? For number 9, A. The pencil, B. The ruler, or C. They are equal. Now let's proceed to number 10, which is shorter, the ruler or the pencil? Which is shorter, the ruler or the pencil? A, the pencil, B, the ruler, C, they are equal. What is the biggest number? Okay, we we um I'm giving you here the illustrations to represent each numbers or each number. So we have here 16 apples. Next, how many flowers? There are seven flowers and how many stars can you see there are 12 stars now what is the biggest number makwa ewa makwa okay the answer is letter b 16 16 is the biggest number so, please answer question number 11 in your test paper. For number 11, what is the biggest number? Is it 15, 16, or 11? A, 11, B, 15, C, 6. Please encircle the correct letter.
what is the expanded form of 70? So when you say expanded, it looks like this. Okay, you have to break it down, like breaking it down. The number 17, when you break it down, it's like 10 plus 7. Two numbers, 10 and 7. So when you add them together, it becomes 17, or the total is 17. So 10 plus 7 equals 17. So the expanded form of 17 is 10 plus 7. Okay? Now for your um, test paper, now please answer question number 12. Okay, based on my example earlier that I gave you. So what is the expanded form of 18? Is it A, 1 plus 1 equals B, 10 plus 8 equals and C, 1 plus 8? Next. So, it's just a quick recap for the numbers from 11 to 20. So, we have here 11. Let's start from number 11. Okay, let's spell out the word 11. E-L-E-V-E-N 12 T-W-E-L-V 13 T-H-I-R-T-E-E-N 14 F-O-U-R-T-E-E-N 15, F-I-F-T-E-E-N 16, S-I-X-T-E-E-N 17, S-E-V-E-N T-E-E-N 17, 18, E-I-G-H-T-E-E-N 18 19 N I N E T E E N 20 T W E N T Y What number is it? A B or C The answer is letter A that is 16 or it is 16 letter A so this is just an example now please answer question number 13 in your test paper what number is it is it A B or C please encircle the correct letter Okay, next, let's recap our counting lesson by watching the video. You can also sing along. Let's count from 1 to 20. Are you ready? Yes, let's count! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Awesome! Thanks for counting. Now let's count backwards from 20. Are you ready? Yes, let's count! 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thanks 
for counting backwards and forwards with us. Now please answer question number 14 in your test paper. Which set of numbers is a range in counting forward? Is it A, B, or C? Or a second spray to answer. Now let's proceed to question number 15. Which set of numbers is a range in counting backward? Is it letter A, B, or C? Please answer question number 15 in your test paper. Alright, we're all set. So that's all for today. The next video is for part 3 and part 4 of the test. Thank you for watching kids. Goodbye!